Today, we'll be assembling a Boss Jet Jetter Conversion Kit number two. The first step is going to be to mount your reel to the hand carry stand, which is already partially assembled for you when it arrives. You're going to line the reel up as shown, and it will really only line up with four of the holes. There are extra holes, so you could mount it in a different direction if you wanted to. So once you've got it mounted, your bolt's installed. We're also going to install this quick connect plug. That will be installed here at the base of the reel, going backwards. In the swivel on the side of the reel, we're going to install the reducing bushing. This is going to reduce the swivel from 3 8 to quarter inch and allow the hose to screw right in. You'll also notice that there's going to be a clamp. This is the clamp. It will be attached to the side of the reel here with the nut. You're going to remove that clamp and that'll get wrapped around the hose and then screwed back down and we'll show you that here in just a minute. After you've got your hose reel mounted, you're next going to want to mount your jetter hose on your reel. You're going to feed the swivel end of the jetter hose through the inside of this hole, loop it around into the bushing that we installed earlier, and then roll your hose up on the reel. Once you have that done, the next step will be to connect the rest of your accessories. Your jumper hose has provided quick connects, male and female. It doesn't matter which end, so we're gonna thread those on just like so. And once we have these threaded on, your jumper hose will look like this. The next step would be to install the quick connect female socket by male thread into the ball valve. And you're going to want to tighten that with a wrench just like all the other parts. And also use the provided Teflon tape at each point. The final step will be to pick the appropriate fitting for the other side of the ball valve. If you have a 22 millimeter Euro connection, you'll use this fitting. If you have a 3 8 female pipe thread socket, you'll use this fitting. And if you have a 3 8 male plug, you'll use this fitting. In this case, we're just gonna select the plug and our hose will attach right on. Once you've got to this point, turn your reel around, quick connect your jumper hose to the back of the reel, your ball valve to your jumper hose, and your pressure washer hose to the other end. The last and final step will be to pick one of the appropriate jetter nozzles. You do get three with this kit, a laser, a ram, and a rotating. The laser has one forward jet and three back jets. The ram has no forward jet and three back jets. And the rotating has three offset back jets and this brass centerpiece does rotate. So you would select one of those and install it on the end of your jetter hose With this, you'll want to use a wrench to tighten that down, but don't over tighten it because you'll want to change it later. And thank you for watching.